Hello again. Uh, in this video, I will cover uh, the whole uh, Horizon component configuration and installation. So we can, uh, after that, uh, configure uh, and uh, manage our uh, infrastructure using the uh, Horizon dashboard. So uh, what we need to do first, uh, I will install the uh, OpenStack dashboard. Uh, then there is uh, a file that I need to edit so I can uh, have the uh, horizon working All this work uh, is on the controller node. So now let's edit open stack local setting. Let's change this <clears throat> to be true so we can uh, debug easily. Uh, we need to change this to be uh, controller. And for the OpenStack Keystone uh, URL, in my case, I think I may change this to five thousand. Uh, instead of the identity, uh, we'll have the five thousand to be three. Okay, so let's see for loud host. Everything is loud. Session engine. We're gonna add another session uh, session engine to our backend cache. This is the new one. Let's go here to cache. So memcache, pi memcache. Okay, here I'm gonna change to my local. Uh, P 24 for the controller it won't work it won't work uh, because I, I think the problem is within this uh, cache let's uh, continue configuration I'm not I'm not 100% sure but after uh, after well, I will know if the, this uh, is correct so let's continue let's add OpenStack Keystone multi uh, multi domain here and the OpenStack API version will be like this OpenStack Keystone default domain. Okay. And the OpenStack Keystone default role, it will be user. Now let's go to etc apache 2 conf available openstack dashboard.com just to check that we have the application group okay now let's system ctl reload apache 2 dot service it won't work i think i know the problem <clears throat> TP 
controller horizon okay this is a common problem you may not need to run you have offline compression enabled but there are two uh, ways to solve this to disable the uh, compress or to enable it and do the compress manually so what I do here I will disable it I will see if it, it will work I will try the false states. I will start again. Oh, it worked. Okay. In my case, uh, admin for password, it's password, I think. For the main, it will be default. Let's see if it works. Uh, uh, these credentials, you can find them here. So if you remember the file admin openrc, you will have the username, uh, project name, and the username and the password. And for the default part, for the main here, default also. So I prefer the material instead of default we take uh, a little bit of time here nice network topology we can see everything is here identity we can see the project service we uh, did service my project and the admin so if you remember the admin where we uh, typed uh, the bootstrap uh, script users you can see admin my user this is non admin user and we have the glance for the image uh, placement for placement nova for compute neutron for new, uh, networking <clears throat> groups we have none role we will have uh, the admin role okay for compute right now we don't have nothing for uh, networking also we don't have nothing for system I, I want to uh, show you the uh, the endpoints so I think endpoints are system of inform system information oh yes uh, so this is uh, the endpoints I'm not sure about some uh, some uh, configuration that I did uh, I mean the local settings file for the horizon uh, if you remember I changed is it open stack local URL yes I, uh, I removed the identity and also I removed the identity from two other files within the Nova and the Neutron but uh, all is working right now so if something uh, goes wrong I'll, uh, I'll think uh, uh, automatically uh, about uh, this uh, changement that I did so uh, we are working here for 99% uh, of work is correct the 1% uh, uh, I will know about it later uh, so I changed uh, I removed the identity because um, the auth URL of my keystone uh, doesn't have the identity so that's why I changed that to uh, five 
5000 and as you can see here for the keystone we have controller 5000 v3 okay <clears throat> so now as you can see we can do everything from the dashboard we can uh, create instances we can here are the api access we can uh, we can create uh, create instances create network uh, see the network topology but in our case we don't we have none uh, so uh, uh, in the, uh, on the next video, I'll cover the sender or block storage component uh, provided by OpenStack. Then we will go into uh, launching the instance and we, we're going to create the internal, the external uh, network uh, with the router, with the communication uh, between the external and, uh, and internal uh, and the association of the floating IPs. So see you uh, on my next video.